Yes, YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So in today's video, we're gonna carry on with Bert the Panther Comedian's Bioactive Setup Build. As well, we're gonna have a look at Castro's enclosure. I've got some more plants yet again, so we're gonna be adding some plants to that, do a little bit of work, take a look around the room, and just generally give you an update. So that's something that interests you, then make sure you stay tuned. Without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Now for those of you who've been following this series or following the channel in general, you'll know that I'm keeping Bert my Panther Comedian in this medium rectories enclosure. Now this is not a suitable setup for a Panther Comedian long term, but this was just temporary so I could add him in while we're building this tank. Now so far we've got the background done, we've got the centerpiece done, we added the branches in one of the last build updates and now I need to peel the, the top of the layer of the foam off, add the silicon and then add some eco earth. And then we've just got the one side left to do in the same process. It's been a long drawn out process, but we're really, really getting there now. And in the next couple of videos, we'll be looking at planting and adding Bert back into the enclosure. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. But I think that's enough for me waffling on. Let's get on with building. Okay, so that tedious process is done. We do have to do it again on the other side, which is the most boring bit. So picking off all that expanding foam was quite easy in the videos you've seen on time lapses, but it took me two hours to peel this one side off. But it's done and we've managed to add the silicon on and add the eco earth. So we just need to leave it time to dry now, ideally about 24 hours, which I like to leave it, a lot of people say about 12, but I leave it overnight and try and come back to 24 hours later. So we'll leave a little bit of time now. Uh, we'll come back and we'll tip it up. But in the meantime, why don't we crack on and check out Castro, her tank, and let, get it looking a lot greener. Okay, so like I said, I've been buying a lot of plants lately, you've probably seen in my videos, we've been doing a lot on this tank. Now firstly, what I'm trying to do at the moment is try and stay on top of these setups, just to make sure that they stay as lush and as nice as I'd like them to look. But usually what happens is you focus on one enclosure, move on to the next and completely forget about the last one. So I want to try and stay on top and make sure we persevere to make these look as best we can. And that applies with the rest of the setups. But I went out yesterday and got some plants when it's at my local garden centre. We've got some bromeliads, we've got an arrowhead uh, climber. 
we've got some ferns and various different plants. We're gonna try and add those in today. Now, Kasha's moved away from this door this morning. She was stuck there, so I wasn't able to look at this today. But now she's moved, we'll crack on with it. So I'm really happy with this terrarium at the moment. It's starting to really come the way I'd like it to. It's really starting to grow up and fill out. And obviously the more plants are adding in, the better that's looking as far as I'm concerned. Now I want to create a nice sort of backdrop of leaves and shelter for Castro as well as leaving her place then so she can bask and get out and have a bit of interest. But she seems to be really happy in here at the moment. And the plants are doing really well. We have lost a couple of little plants. We started out trying with spider plants in the bottom, which didn't really work out. And for some reason, I never get any luck with spider plants. I don't know why. But using a new technique today with adding the, bromel the bromeliads onto the side by using some wire and pinning it into the terrarium background. So I think that's worked really well. Now, this top corner here was like in the fullest one um, for the last couple of months, just because it's difficult to add plants in because this is the hot end. So a lot of the time the leaves get scorched or just don't dry out and don't really last. So I'm hoping now the bromeliads are the answer to this. So we'll just see how it gets on. And as always, I'll keep you updated how this tank is looking. Okay, so it's looking a lot nicer already. So obviously we still need to brush it down just to see the detail in there, but as you can see, looking a lot better. Obviously that side is the only side missing for comparison, but I think this is starting to come out the way that I envisage it, so amazing. So we'll just make sure now we clear out any of the areas of plants and we'll just brush down any excess. As you can see a lot has pulled off already. We'll keep that then for the rest of the build and then we'll carry on. But looking a lot lot nicer I think you'll agree let's get a brush down and see how it actually looks
Uh, two terrariums I'm really happy with at the moment. This one is ongoing, obviously we still got a little bit of work to do with that, but obviously I'll be providing updates in the next few videos and hopefully we'll get this done very soon. I've got another big build coming up straight after this one. So if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So plenty of exciting things coming up on this channel, new builds, new animals, upgrading existing setups, there's plenty of stuff to come so make sure you are involved. As always if you're a regular viewer, you can do me a massive favour, show me your support by giving me that thumbs up. Leave me a comment to show YouTube you're enjoying this sort of content and allows me to make more videos like these. But it's enough of me waffling on for one day, enough of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.